All right, 90 days with a full active auto work system. So what are my thoughts? Okay, so initial is very pleased overall. I've never had active auto or never really even heard it on an M3. So I was buying it based on reviews and the consensus. A lot of people are saying it's a bit too loud, a bit too droney for me. Others would say it's loud, it's just fine. So it's kind of had to, you know, take some risk and try it out. So what I did is I first bought the rear section only and put that on. I was happy with the sound and the tone was really good. Kind of has some higher exotic tones when you're driving around. Um, and then kind of gives you a nice exhaust tone just at any speed. So if a stock is like a two, which I would say in a scale of one to 10, just the exhaust note on the stock, I'd say like it's like a two. Then the rear section only, probably moved it up to maybe like a four or so. Um, and honestly, I should have been happy with that, but I did want a little bit more. So I ordered the X-Pipe and the High Flow Cats. So now I have the, what they call the quote unquote full active auto um, setup. So after I added that, um, I'm even happier now because I wanted a bit more volume. I wanted to kind of, I like to hear, you know, some sound from the engine and from the exhaust, even as I'm driving around. I mean, that's part of the beauty of owning this car. And I understand maybe people who drive, you know, long commutes, like an hour each way to and back from work, it can get tiring. But for my needs of primarily driving around town, like, you know, this is a car that with this motor and the setup is, uh, I wanted to really, you know, take advantage of what, what it has to offer. So, um, how would I rate it from, you know, two is stock, four, four and a half is just the rear section. I put this probably about a six, you know, it's not over the top, like an eight or nine or 10, uh, in my opinion. Um, do you hear it? As you're driving around, but it, it's it's not too much. Now, I, what I will say is inside the car versus outside the car, kind of two different things. Uh, rev match, significantly louder inside the car. Outside the car, it's way louder. there is a little bit of um but I found there's actually a little bit of raspiness um that was a little bit of a surprise for me at first I wasn't sure about it but now you know I get it I like it um so I was saying in, inside the cabin um sounds good a little bit of kind of resonance drone whatever you want to call it increase from like um 1500 maybe to 3000 rpm but it's nothing nothing too bad um and you know I get what i wanted kind of got some extra sounds coming from the rear section up to the front uh the whole time i'm driving driving slow driving medium driving driving fast so outside the car um it's quite a bit louder and definitely has presence which uh i, I think it's it's kind of at the peak of how loud I would want it. So, you know, you can certainly tone it down if you want. I don't think it's as loud as, you know, I hear Harleys or other cars with, you know, muffler deletes that are kind of obnoxious. And I would definitely not put it in, uh, put it in that category. It's uh, kind of this low rumbling sound. It sounds like a maybe a jet engine that's about to take off to be honest which is a good thing and um so um you know happy with that and um uh, i was saying outside it, it definitely has a lot of presence that's for sure in, in a good way um you know you would be noticed people know it it's a special car, but it, it's not, you know, over the top by, uh, by any means. 
So there you have it, initial impressions inside. I'll get some videos outside the car. Um, and uh, as soon as the weather warms up here, and I'll add those in as well. Um, but, you know, yeah, look, like, you know, never driving in the car. What, you know, took a little bit of risk, and I'm happy with it. And then I guess if I compare it versus some other um, common options, like the MPE, I had that on two different M3, E90 M3s. And uh, it, this setup is definitely louder than the MPE. And it has, you know, the MPE has that nice kind of hollow tone to it, um, around 3,000, 4,000 RPM. And this has a very similar tone, um, but it's actually louder. And you get some really nice exotic tones, kind of high pitch hums uh, when you're driving slow. And then when you're driving fast, it actually just really everything kind of, you know, escalates. So overall, um, happy with the decision. I'll uh, make some exterior videos and report back.